I've come on again. We're walking down Cowslip or Hogweed Alley. Um, you just don't let the hogweed get to you too much. We're not always sure if it's cow parsley or hogweed. But, uh, it's difficult knowing what's what. I think the hogweed tends to be larger and thicker stemmed. Yeah, when I get up near the camping area, there's a lovely field there with great views. I'm just going to look for a bit of shade somewhere there and have my picnic, I think. There weren't any cows up here last time I came. Yeah, this little lane sometimes really is scorching and other times it cools you, like now. When you get a nice cool bit like that, God, it's gorgeous. And then you go out into the sunshine now and it hits your head. <sighs> Do you know what I mean? And don't want to get attacked. So you've got to keep your elbows in going along there or even hold them out in front of me. It's very narrow. It's grown a lot since last time I came. Very hard to keep the camera still. Keep apologising, but there's nothing I can do. It's a big, bulky camera. And I tell you, my poor wrist, my left one, still suffers a bit afterwards because it's something to try and stabilise. But it's its job and it's got to do it. You just have to build up those muscles, don't it? Dog rose, look. Coming out now. Different flowers throughout the seasons. Buttercups and bluebells and the wild garlic have sort of disappeared now, really. Oh. Right, here we are. Base camp again. Much fuller now. With a uh, half term, people coming in their tents, their families. I don't know, I think they organise activities as well. Pretty flowers here, look. Gorgeous flowers, look at it, isn't it gorgeous? Last time I forget what it's like to have people. Really, yeah. I forgot. Look at these lovely flowers here. Gorgeous. You've got the buttercups in the background there. Oak tree. Beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous flowers. Really pretty. I don't know what they're called. I've forgotten what it's like to be sort of normal. You know? Be able to sit outside like that and 
It's like he swift does that, I think. I'd love to get away with my tent and camp. You know, when I was with the army cadets, I loved it all. I loved doing all that sort of stuff, you know, with them. Bushcraft. <sighs> Sleeping out camping. Map and compass, everything, I loved it. I'm getting very close to the end of the battery now and everyone who comes here will see this gorgeous view and they'll walk down here and they'll just love it all those people camping there's a pub down there called the Star I think there's pubs about if people like their drink but most people bring all their drink with them their wine, their cider I'm just going to walk along this bit today Hello Oak Tree, I'm back. How you doing? And Holly. Got some new shoots I see. There's Shoot Shelf Hill over there. Yep. And of course we've got Winchcombe. Wavering down. Crooks Peak. And we're walking up this way today. I'm going to find somewhere to rest and just um, have a, some more water and have some more cheese and tomato and a packet of crisps. I'm not having it yet. I'm going to wait till I get up to the other gate. Then I'll check the time again. And if I can, I might even sit down. If there's a space somewhere. I bet people sit on that, you know. That looks like the sort of spot to sit in, doesn't it? Just put your jumper down there. No cat. Oh, there's somebody coming there. Somebody coming. Alright, let's have a look over there. That's um. That's Robero Warren, over there. All the way along there. Which I was very close to today. I took a picture. Are you picking up on this video? It... Yeah. The other side over that way is the Vale of Avalon. Not this bit, this is like um, Winscombe, Banwell and all that sort of thing. Well, Banwell's the other side, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Look at the great big watering hole the, the uh, cows have got, look. Massive, isn't it? Great big watering. They do have cows at, um, out here, you know. I don't, I don't know if people have cut down on cows or whether they just are keeping them away from people. I don't know. I don't know if you can get up here, Shell. Well, if you can't, you can just wait by this. Wait by this gate then. I need to check my time. Yeah, I hear the gate then. I hear the gate. I don't know where that goes if I go down there. I don't know. 
Might take you back down to, might take you back there. Right, let's turn off for a minute. I've got a feeling that church there is Roborough Church, which I've never got in. There. That's Roborough Church. This will be the last video of the day now. It's the last stage of the walk to get down to Sanford for the bus. We've got a good three quarters of an hour to get down there. And uh, there, I think there is a walk over there, but I want to explore that another time. I don't know when. I didn't know I was going to explore what I did today, really, until I saw that sign. So... Last time I got there 20 minutes early and had to wait 20 minutes and it seemed ages but it wasn't the boss it wasn't the fault of the bus. I just got there too early and it could happen again because I am always a person who's on time. I'm not just on time, I'm before time. So I'm just taking my time now, I'm not gonna rush because there is time. There's a stone halfway down. I'm going to check me t the time when I get there. Then if you go down a bit more, there's a, a bench as well. So anyway, that's the way to the quarry where I used to go. I won't go there um, at the moment anyway, because there's, there's going to be activities going on in there. So I'll just try and hold the camera steady for a bit. Like I said, I think I've seen a path where you get into that field where I had a little stop a minute ago. I had uh, cheese and tomato and some couple of cakes, only little tiny cakes. And I've still got uh, oat bars and crisps if I want them, two oranges and sweets. I, what I do, I i cut out having too much to eat before I come out, which I never have a lot anyway. The most I ever have would be maybe some toast or crumpet or yogurt and maybe, maybe cereal. Um, but I thought, no, I just have the yogurt and my tea. Uh, it's not anything too heavy. And I haven't suffered with any indigestion whatsoever. I'm not saying I won't. This is a live recording I'm doing, by the way. I say it will catch a deer if I see one or anything else. It'll be recorded and stored. This could be watched by lots of people. Witnesses to my walk. Observers. I, don't know, I just thought I saw blue again just a minute ago. I saw a bloke with a blue t shirt and shorts on, and he had a mobile phone. I don't know what he was doing. But he disappeared suddenly. So he, he didn't look like a walker, or he wasn't carrying a bag or anything like that. He was not well, heavily built. I've probably got him on video already. So I was doing video when I, was, when I saw him. That's what's good about having the video, really. When you're going along, you capture all sorts of things. You can always edit it out. I'm 
looks like a big bird. What was that? Could have been a dog, I see. I don't know what that was. Oh yeah. Oh, let me turn, I'm just turning off a minute.